Okay, perfect time for the heater too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so we just did one with these, uh, a video with um, Martha Stewart's glow in the dark paints. There's way too much black in it, but we still think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. So there's a little bit of leftover in each one of these cups, so we thought, why not just take them all and, and uh, you know, blend them together and do a little something with these instead of wasting the paint. So we'll go with the black as our base first. And then put the green in. And hopefully this might come out a little cooler because there's not so much, as much black. Put the yellow in. And my wife is suggesting we put white in subtly here. <laughs> And we'll put the, not much orange left, but enough to get something going on there. And then we're going to put a little bit of white in there just to break up the colors a little bit. Okay, put a little bit of silicone in there. You see, uh, well, just trust me, put a little bit in there. All right. And then, oh, we didn't put it in there? No. And this is a little bit of the just overall glow in the dark, like a clear coat, I guess, or something. <laughs> so, we'll do a couple whap, boop, beep, bop, boop, bop. Good <laughs> enough. And this one, should we just do a pour? Yeah, just pour it around. We're going to just pour this one around see what happens. Ooh, a little bit of water in there, too. I think that was the silicone. <laughs> Rastafarian. I know. <laughs> yeah, and I wish I could make that too. I just wish I could. I know you wish. Of course All I right. wish. That so looks so good. So we got it on there. Now, let's start. And you can see these cheaper canvases are sinking in too, so. silicone in here actually because I don't see cells starting to form. Well it is a nice mixture of colors though. <laughs> if you put fire to it, they'll probably come out better. Oh, that's true. Try to not lose that orange there too much. Sometimes you just have to lose some cool parts sometimes to get it to cover the whole canvas. Once you get it over like that, you're pretty good. And you can start going the other direction. So this is why a little bit, of, I probably should add a little more water in here too. It would be flowing a lot quicker if there was more water in it. I get a better shot there for you. Yeah. You can see it's going real so look we've got a clump of something right there too. There's some good thing right there. I got it. Okay, so there we go. We're covering the whole canvas, so that's good. So I want to get the actually we're covered, but I want that orange to be in there a little more, so I'm gonna go back this way just for a second. Get that orange will go down just a little bit to cover a little more of it. Yeah, it's almost done flowing. You can see it's moving real slow. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. So now I'll just kind of lightly tap the sides wherever it's still white. And um, it'll all kind of pop together. You won't even notice it. You won't see fingerprints or anything. As long as it's wrong as it's thick. Okay, right there, looks good. Okay, it's pretty covered, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm glad that part's white anyway, so it's gonna match. <laughs> so now we don't really have any cells developing, so we'll take a little flame to it and see if that helps. If not, it still looks like it's gonna look pretty cool though. <laughs> That 
does anything. I want to overdo it. And you can see how the, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, the camera is sinking in actually. So that kind of is a drag, but that's what, you, you know, we bought these ones are real cheap just to, so we can experiment with and stuff, but that looks pretty cool. I just wish those cells would develop more. Yeah, I don't think there's enough silicone in there, but yeah. you see some people that don't use silicone at all and still get their cells, so. But I think they use more flow gel to get the cells. No. Could have done all. Could just take out just take canvas. I wonder how you take a canvas and just. Most people have done that with the bases. They'll put the base in like oh, yeah. the thing. So, anyways, this is pretty cool. We'll let it dry and uh, see how it comes out. I'm gonna take it off and get real close. Mm -hmm. we'll, do close we'll do some close-ups here for you so you can see it better. And you can see you got a little bit of cells right there. A little bit right there, but not much. Not much sillage going on there. But it's got some cool swirls and stuff in it. Cool little pattern. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one.